Good evening, New Life Church family. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. And uh, I know, like myself, we are all excited about the new year. Uh, tonight, we just wanted to share uh, a thought from God's Word as our uh, closing Wednesday night will be online. And again, I hope you had a great time with your family this week and have enjoyed the season. I pray that you've kept uh, Christ first place uh, during this Christmas holiday. A couple of announcements. Let me remind you, uh, men, that we will be having our men's Bible fellowship tomorrow morning at Cal Cafe. Excited to see you there. We'll be meeting around 8 o'clock and uh, looking forward to, to traveling through God's Word together tomorrow. And then also, I uh, want to encourage everybody to make sure that you are here Sunday. It's always an exciting Sunday, the first Sunday of the year. So make plans to be here at New Life Church. We will be back to our regular schedule, 9 o'clock service and an 11 o'clock service. And so looking forward to the first Sunday of the year together. Also on Sunday night at 6 o'clock, all of our life groups will be coming together. We'll be meeting in the gym, having a big church-wide fellowship. And so if you have any questions about that, you can uh, see Brother Michael. You can contact us at the church office. But just an exciting weekend ahead. And then, of course, we have the teen uh, all-night uh, event here uh, on Friday evening. Uh, for our young people, so uh, just some good things coming this week. Uh, I love God's Word. I hope uh, that you can say the same thing. I hope that God's Word feeds you. Um, God's Word uh, keeps me in line. It absolutely does. It becomes the leveler every day for my life. And, and today, as I was thinking about what I would share for just a few moments with our church family, again, God brought me back to my Proverbs reading uh, right in uh, Proverbs chapter 29. I just want to read three verses to you as we look forward to 2022 and also as we reflect back on 2021. Uh, I hope that each one of us reflect back on this year and see God doing some great things. I pray that you've grown in the Lord. I hope that you can see the hand of God in your life. I know, like myself, all of us would go back and probably redo some things uh, re-say some things, react maybe a different way. But as we reflect on 2021 and then as we launch into 2022, Proverbs 29 just gave me a ton of reminders today of some things that going into the new year, I personally want to recommit to the Lord. I want to read three verses to you and then I just want to share a couple of thoughts with you tonight. Proverbs chapter 29 <laughs> Beginning in verse 9, the Bible says, If a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. The bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. And then verse 11, A fool uttereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it till afterwards. I honestly could look at every two or three verses in this chapter and find some things. Hear the Holy Spirit, in a way, dealing with my own heart about some things that I need to recommit. But, but those three verses right there, there are three things that Pastor Scott, moving forward in 2022, needs to recommit in his life. Let me share those with you. First of all, I know that from this text, I need to recommit myself to making sure that I do not keep company with those that constantly are stirring up division and keep conflict present in their life. In fact, Old Testament and New Testament, the Bible says to mark them and to separate yourself from them. Uh, notice what he said here. If a wise man contendeth with a foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, it doesn't matter. Th those are opposite ends of the spectrum, but no matter the, the circumstance, no matter the situation, no matter how the relationship is going at the time, the Bible says there will be no rest. And I know sometimes being a fixer, sometimes I might find myself staying in a relationship too long or allowing something to go a little bit too far, but the Bible says I need to remove myself, that a wise man does not uh, keep company with the foolish man because when we do, uh, there's no rest. And so I need to make sure that in 2022 moving forward that I make sure that I, I pay very careful attention to my relationships and to people's tendencies because I know that 
when somebody has conflict in their life, I am easily drug into that. And I need to recommit myself to staying away from that, being a peacemaker and being wise. Secondly, the Bible says in verse 10 that the bloodthirsty hate the upright, but the just seek his soul. The second thing I want to recommit, and this is just something the Lord did in my heart today, that I need to re recommit myself to making sure that no matter what people do to me or how people act around me, how they treat me or how they treat others, to never let that affect my burden for their soul. Because I think all of us would agree, when people speak ugly of us or when they mistreat us, sometimes it's easy to get bitter, it's easy to get angry, it's easy just to, to cut off that relationship, it's easy to cut our mind and our heart off of what they really need. And what the world needs is Christ. And so when people disagree with us, sometimes it's just easier to cut them off and we forget that God still wants us to have a burden for their soul, just like Jesus had a burden for those that, that persecuted him, that crucified him, that betrayed him and denied him. And so I want to encourage you, as the Lord reminded me, no matter what people do, no matter how people treat you, no matter what they say, never lose a burden for their soul. Because the just, the Bible says, seek their soul. But then thirdly, the third thing I was reminded of this morning when I was reading was that from verse 11 that I need to continue to recommit to the Lord the way I use my words and to make sure that I use my words and my mouth as a minister unto the hearers. I let this get out of control sometimes. I'm sure each one of you can relate to that. And the Bible says here in verse 11, a fool uttereth all his mind. Well, let me just speak my mind. Let me just tell you what I'm thinking. And, and I know me, sometimes I've said that as if that justifies it, but the Bible says that's foolish. The Bible teaches us here that a wise man keepeth his mind, keepeth his words, keepeth his opinion. The Bible says that we keep our opinions until afterwards. And so I, I need the Lord to help me with this. As we go into 2022, I wanna make sure that I'm ministering to people with my words. I want to make sure that I'm not quick to react and quick to speak, but I'm slow to, to speak. I'm quick to hear. And I need to make sure that, that God helps me to, to form and fashion my words in a way that would be pleasing to Him and that would draw people to Him because that is pleasing to Him. I need God's help with my words. I need God's help to, to help me keep a burden for people's soul. And I need the Lord's help to help me navigate through the the ups and downs of relationships and how to respond. These are just some things from my reading today that I need to recommit. Here's the devotion tonight. What do you need to recommit to the Lord tonight? Is it getting back to church faithfully? Is it getting back to God's Word and reading it daily? Is it your prayer life? Is it a burden for souls? Is there a relationship that you've allowed to be tattered and torn because of conflict or sometimes things even insignificant? Whatever it is tonight, I want to encourage you with these last few days as we reflect on 2021, I want to encourage you to make sure that you go ahead and recommit some things to the Lord so that we can get 2022 started off like God wants us to. Would you pray with me? Father, thank you so much for this day thank you for your word. And God, I pray that we would all take inventory tonight and recommit those things the Holy Spirit is dealing with our heart about. And so, Lord, would you minister to our people? Lord, thank you for Christmas. Thank you for the Christ child. Thank you for salvation. And Lord, thank you for our church. We have some dear, precious people. And God, you're doing something special here. And God, I'm thrilled to be a part of it. And so would you bless us now for your glory, we pray in Jesus' name.